Don't you hate when you're out on a hike and you get so out of breath that you don't even enjoy it? Well, in today's video, we're gonna do a 15 minute workout to get you in shape for hiking. It's a full body workout that you can do at home. Let's get started. Let me tell you how the workout is gonna go. This is gonna be a 15 minute workout. We're gonna work out the whole body. We're gonna do 30 seconds of an exercise, 30 seconds of another exercise, and then 30 seconds of rest for 15 straight minutes. What equipment do you need? Well, not much, and it's actually optional. So if you have a jump rope, you can go ahead and get it out. I'm gonna be using this for one of the exercises, but certainly, you can replace jumping rope with jumping jack, so that's fine. Uh, a resistance band, so I'm gonna use this for one exercise as well. Certainly you don't need a resistance band either. You could just do the motion of the exercise without the band, and I'll walk you through that. And then finally, I'm using what we call a steel hose. This is a 25 pounds. This is optional. I'm gonna be using this on some of the leg exercises. Um, you can use a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell, or you don't have to use any weight at all. I'm just gonna make this a little bit more intense for me, so I'm using 25 pound weight here. So again, we're doing two exercises in a row. Each of those exercises is 30 seconds, followed by 30 seconds of rest. The second exercise is always gonna either be squats or lunges. This is a follow along workout, so you can just follow along what I do. Now, let's get started. Go ahead and warm up with a few exercises for about five minutes. I'm doing some sit to stands, going up and down on a curb, some push ups, and some jumping jacks. And as always, check with your doctor before starting a new exercise program. The first exercise is the alternating step up, taking turns, stepping up on a bench or a step, alternating legs throughout. You want to make sure your core is engaged and you maintain good posture. Don't lean forward or lean backwards. And to make things easier, you can always use a lower step. After the step ups, we're immediately going into squats for 30 seconds. Here I've chosen to use that 25 pound weight. That is optional, you could definitely do this with no weight, just body weight only. You wanna stand with your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward or slightly outward. Engage your core and keep your chest lifted throughout the exercise. If you can go until your thighs are parallel to the ground or as comfortable as you can do this movement. The next exercise is the incline push-up, which you're gonna be doing for 30 seconds. You wanna find a sturdy elevated surface to use. Here I'm using the back of a bench. Now the more upright you are, so the higher that surface is, the easier it's gonna be. The closer that surface is to the ground, the harder the push-up will be. Now we're going immediately into alternating lunges. Here I've chosen to use that weight again, but you certainly don't need to do that. You wanna take a step forward with your right foot, keeping your right knee directly above your ankle and your left knee pointing down towards the ground. You wanna lower your body down towards the ground, bending both knees until your right thigh is parallel to the ground. Push through your right heel to stand back up and then repeat the exercise going to the other side.
For the resistance band row, you wanna securely anchor the band to a stable object. Here I'm just using a tree. Now if you don't have a band, you can do the same movement just with your body weight. Squeeze those fists together as you make the movement. When you do the exercise, palms are facing down. You're gonna step back until the band is taut and you feel some resistance. Now, the further away you are, the harder it's gonna be. The closer to that anchor point you are, the easier it's gonna be. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Keep your core engaged, knee slightly bent. You're gonna pull your elbows back towards your rib cage, squeezing your shoulder blades together as you do so, and then slowly return to the starting position. Do this exercise nice, slow, and controlled. And then again here, we're immediately going into the squats for 30 seconds. The next exercise is the moving plank. You might want to use a mat or a towel underneath your elbows. I forgot mine. Start in a high plank position with your hands about shoulder width apart, your body in a straight line. You want to keep your core engaged throughout to avoid sagging your hips. You're simply lowering your right forearm to the ground followed by your left forearm so that you are now in a low plank position and then return to that start. I also like to alternate which arm that I lead with for each rep. If that's too difficult, you can always do this exercise with your knees on the ground. After 30 seconds, here we are already, already going into the alternating lunges. The fifth and final exercise of this first round is gonna be a jump rope. Now, if you don't have a jump rope, you can simply do some jumping jacks or pick any type of cardiovascular exercise that's gonna get your breathing up just a bit. Again, we're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds. All right, after the jump rope, get ready to do squats for 30 seconds. After we do this, we rest for 30 seconds. That's the end of round one, and we're simply gonna repeat this circuit one more time. Okay, going right back into those alternating step ups. You know what you're doing now, but if you need to make this harder, you could always hold 
kettlebells, you can hold dumbbells, you could even put some weight in a backpack and strap that on your back while doing the exercise, kind of mimicking what it might feel like to hike with a backpack going uphill. We're back doing that incline push-up. I do want to point out if you need to make this easier, you could do this against a wall and do like a standing push-up. Again, the more vertical your body, so the more straight up and down your body is, the easier the exercise will be. So adjust this exercise according to your fitness level. I mentioned this in the first time we did this exercise, but the further away you stand back, the harder this movement's gonna be. And again, if you don't have a band, do the same movement, but while you're making the movement, squeeze those fists as hard as you can. You'll still feel it in your back. Okay, we are doing that moving plank. Again, this exercise may be a little bit too difficult for you, so you can adjust, you can do this while on your knees, or you can actually just hold a plank if you would like. You can hold that high plank, you could hold a low plank on your forearms, you can even do that plank hold on your knees as well. So definitely adjust this exercise as you need to.
All right, last set here, we're doing jump ropes. Again, if you don't have a jump rope, you can feel free to switch over and do jumping jacks or really any conditioning exercise that's gonna get your breathing up. Some other ideas are just jogging with high knees in place or butt kicks. You could even do some burpees or mountain climbers. Whatever works for you, get that heart rate up in this exercise. And then after we do this for 30 seconds, we're going to finish off with our alternating lunges for 30 seconds. And then you will be done. We are done. I'm out of breath. How did you do? I love that you're working out with me. Comment below. Let me know how you did. Subscribe to this channel for more workouts. I'll see you on the next one.